Alright, let's get into them. Show y'all how I get a dub with randoms. Yeah, I mean, and, and the randoms don't work with you, so you gotta kinda do it by yourself. So, yeah, let's get into it. Well, we're gonna have a, a rough time in the beginning. Yeah, I mean, you follow your team, you go with your team. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. This time it didn't work, I had to go on my own. So, boom. It's a little bit of action going on. I'm gonna get smoked a couple times. So, in this process, in this process, this process is gonna happen. Depends on you know, maybe how fast you can get your gun and stuff like that. And it depends on if your team is working with you. See, when when I get in, all my shit is set, so I don't hear no randoms. So they can't hear me. I just gotta go with what they're doing. You know, that's what kind of makes it better for me because I can concentrate like that. With the randoms, like, you know how randoms be, you can't really concentrate with them like that. So, you know, I'm trying to grab my stuff, trying to get guns and stuff, see what's up. Like, oh, I guess shit out again. You know, like, this, this is what happens. So, but, like I said, sometimes with randoms, you guys just go off and do your own thing. And, and they'll follow suit. You know, some some will follow suit. Some might still do the stuff that they doing, but sometimes it means situations like this. Yeah, you gotta look. See, everybody still lurking. Yeah, you gotta go off on your own. So I'm like, all right, cool. Right there, I was I was half on the joystick, half not. So I mean, he got an easy kill. What's an easy kill when you ready to lose the game? You know what I'm saying? So we will get to that point. But that's what I'm saying. You know, you gotta get it in good positions. All right, boom. They rotated. All right, I see them over there. Cool. No, you land with the team, but you land a little bit off for real. You don't, you don't land directly on the team because the team not rocking with you so you gotta get the team to rock with you you gotta get the team to understand the mission <laughs> the mission at hand the mission at hand is survive and 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 uh win you know it's not always about getting all the kills and that sweaty shit oh watch that sniper you see that sniper glare head duck your head back down you better <laughs> the sniper fan take your head off Alright, he got a durable over there. Shit, I finna go grab that. Guess what? That durable that he marked? Yeah. That was a clutch move on his part because I needed that. I ain't even gonna cap. Alright, your squad's in the safe zone. That was a clutch move. Cause that, that durable would save my life at the end. Here. Enemy right here. So... Mind you, I did die no more after this. So, that's why the only time I died was in the beginning of the game. So, if we was on that same kind of mission from the beginning of the game, I probably would have never died in the beginning. But, you know, you can't tell your people what to do. Snaps, I don't really like snaps. I, it, I'd rather keep the smoke than the snap because the smoke work, work by an enemy squad. you know, like you, you gonna find yourself having to use the smoke. Keep the scattered minds. I keep scattered minds. I like, I like them, you know, I pick them up and stuff. I have them in my loadout, so, yeah. But in this situation, I'm running with the uh, the M16 auto with the automatic on there, the Jack automatic, and that that's the cat. He should have been dead right there, but it's okay. He got up out of there. He lucky. I use, I used to the smack them out of there before he got the chance to pull off. But that that box one right there, yeah, I definitely would have got him. But but basically. Right now, I'm finna go complete contracts because 
one thing I know, look at my money, look at days, I ain't got no money. So I'm finna get my money up because I already know what type of mission I'm on. I'm on a survival mission. So I need some stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead, boom. Start completing these contracts, getting these contracts taken care of. And, and especially like when you're running a solo in quads, you definitely want to complete as many contracts as possible. Stay off the radar, you know what I mean, as possible. Yeah, don't engage unless you got to. Like, see that? That's an iffy spot over there. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to take that because I don't see no movement. Man, so like basically like what I was saying, getting in, getting out, go get this, get these contracts, complete as many contracts as possible, get as much money as possible, because in, in a situation like this when you run it with a team and your team ain't working with you, you gonna have to basically get your load out by yourself. I mean, sometimes it's not good to buy the load out. I mean, other times it's cool to go ahead and buy the loadout. Some situations you just buy your guns and you buy a perk package. You know what I mean, and and that's that's good enough. So I don't always necessarily get a uh, quote unquote loadout. I just buy my guns in a perk package. Same difference. Um, yeah, but basically, yeah, co completing contracts. Get your money up. I mean, you see, while these guys doing that bull crap, playing around and and sh trying to show how 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 good of a killer they are. Yeah, I'm over here completing contracts, getting my money up. And by the time I do that, yeah, I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna be in the perfect position to go ahead and do what I need to do. You know, <laughs> it just so happens that my loadout. My loadout was in, in a in a good position for me to get it, so I ain't had to really do too much. But not all the time it happens like that, and and basically I'm like outside the ring and everybody's inside the ring, so this is gives me the ability to do what I'm doing. I know that I'm literally my back is against the the wall, you know, ain't nobody coming from behind me. So, <clears throat> yeah, as we, as we do this, you know, we just basically getting getting our money up. I, I'm basically getting the money up, you know. Like I said, completing as many contracts as I can. I mean, look at that. I got, I got 15 already. So, you know, of course you're going to spend that money. Now, this this is the the important part right here. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the important part right here. Cause we getting down to the wire now. Now it's about position. So how the, based on how the ring is and based on how I was already playing, my knowledge of, of what was going on. Yeah, I'm not gonna go deep inside the ring. I'm gonna go, yeah, you know I mean, to the edge and work my way in because I know it's not that many people over here. You know I mean, if we, if we could look on the map, we could see, you know I mean, where everybody is at. So yeah, I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my time coming in. Now, mind you. As as I'm playing, you see I'm not worried about nothing to the right, only worried about stuff to the left because that's what that's the people that's behind me. So I gotta get those people from behind me and and be the one coming coming in from from behind them. So and you can see my parachutes motherfuckers dropping in I mean like this this the part where you just take your time I mean you take your time and and kind of survey the field 
I mean, I got a, I got a person up there. You know, you see, I can see where he's shooting at. So let's go. <clears throat> I'm gonna drop a strike. I'm gonna try to clear this, clear this rooftop off. Now, as I'm as I'm clearing this rooftop off, I mean, you gotta pay, always gotta pay attention and and, and be mindful that this rooftop holds so many openings to where though you can get up here. But, but you know, like I said, I know I was. I know I was the last one coming in, so I don't really have to, uh, you know, do too much. Now, this is the part I like. This crunch time right here. This is when the rain start closing, you know, less people start popping up. Yeah, so, you know, I got, I know I got a load out right there. I ain't too concerned with that. That's going to be in the gas. My my main concern is people at this moment people dropping in, cause people people's gonna be getting bought back left and right in this in this point of time right now. So, with that being said, you know always make sure you're not too zoomed in and too focused on one target like that. I missed that target. I could have had them, but. You know, don't be too locked in on just one particular target because everybody gonna be dropping in. So he ain't coming out now. I just I need to get him up out of there. Mm, missed again. I was on that side. I was like those shots. I was just just mistiming them for real. Like I had the shot. I was just mistiming it. He would move right when I would go pull the trigger. So it's like, you know, being patient. Now, th now this right here, third party, you know, always look for the third party. Make make their job hard, you know. Make them, make them people job hard. See, he in the gas. I ain't ready, I ain't ready wasting my time going in no gas. Forget that. Shoot, I'm trying to get this dub. If you if you ain't know you shouldn't have been in that gas at this point in time, then uh, yeah, ain't no point to be coming to get you. You should know that. So, uh, yeah. And I'm still going to do them a favor. Now, that I peep game. UAV. All right, so I know where everybody at. Always keep the UAVs on deck. I never recommend this right here, but in this position that I was at, yeah. I was in a good position to do so. But see, as I did that, somebody was coming in. Somebody was dropping in. So it really it really almost messed me up for real buying them back because now I had to come up here and I had to fight. You know what I'm saying? When I already had position. It just, you know, I got I had the better aim on that. Good thing, you know, he broke his leg. So I ain't gotta worry about him. We're gonna finish him. Now, <clears throat> now I know I'm the only one on the roof. I'm straight. I mean, I got a ladder to my right, right there. I you know mean, so I'm, I'm gonna keep cover on the ladder. And this is where you just play. You just play it, play it by ear. You know, you can't, you can't see nothing, so you gotta play by ear. You just gotta make sure that you're listening, and and, and even like being in the best positions. You know, try to be in the best. See that? See, so I'm saying this. You gotta watch the rooftop. Aim. I'm lucky. My aim was was a little bit good in the beginning. I don't know what happened to the to towards the end, but in the beginning, yeah, I broke his place enough to. I only had to put a couple more hits, and then there, yeah, here go the clutch right here, buddy. Coming up the steps, I can hear him. That's why I say you gotta play by ear. You can hear him running around. Okay, he gonna come up them steps. And yeah, I'ma finish it. See, I got durable, so I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping on no gas right now. Hey, come. See, he ain't got no gas, man. So he trying to hurry up and get him a little kill real quick. See if he can clutch it, but he ain't even know I was already prepared. Yeah, so this this how you get you a dub. By yourself, you don't need no team. You just gotta play it smart. You put yourself in the best position. Put yourself, you know what I mean, 
in the, in the right spots at the right time. Yeah, hey, shit. That's a dub. Let's go.